the importance of throwing downhill for pitchers. When you throw downhill, the ball is going to travel. If I release it here at a six foot mark and it were to go downhill five feet, the catcher were to catch it one foot off the ground, the ball would have gone downhill five foot or 60 inches. Okay? How many inches per 10 feet is that ball going downhill? Okay? For every, every foot, it's traveling downhill one inch. So the ball's going downhill all the way. Now, the reason why it doesn't happen sometimes has to do with your, your wrist position. Your wrist sometimes, if you look at the back, of my, the back of my wrist here, at release I need to be here. Many kids are here where their fingers are behind the ball instead of on top. This has to deal with my wrist action, not my, so much of my fingers. We talk about getting your fingers on top, but, my, oh, but coach, my fingers are on top and my wrist is bent back. I'm throwing behind the ball and the ball's now going uphill. We need to get out here at that extension point where that wrist is flat and those fingers are on top of the ball so we can actually throw that ball downhill.